Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Honda Jet Elite 2 gets TC'd. Mesa Airlines Pipistrel Velis suffers engine issues and uses chute. Litter of kitties found in museum display. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Honda Jet Elite 2 gets TC'd. After Honda Aircraft Company unveiled the Honda Jet Elite 2 at NBAA base, it was obvious that the little biz jet company from Japan was determined to not be so little for long. The big news last month was their updating the biz jet with extended range, fuel economy, and automation. And now the big news is that the Elite 2 is certified and ready for action. The Honda Jet Elite 2 expanded its range over the previous model, bringing it up to a total of 1,547 nautical miles brought about by new increased fuel capacity in addition to more space for additional cargo. Gross takeoff weight has been brought up to 11,100 pounds, with a new ground spoiler optimizing takeoff and landing performance. The avionics suite is similarly improved using the newest iteration of the G3000 with the expected boost in graphics and visual performance. A raft of advanced features and next-gen automation allows a greater margin of operator safety and comfort with auto throttles, stabilized approach assistance, and emergency auto land. Stylistically, the Elite 2 gains a new black edition livery as well as a more neutral corporate color scheme. Interior options, materials, and colors have been added to the jet as well. And after the break, Estes releases Falcon 9 model rocket. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Estes releases Falcon 9 model rocket. Model collectors and rocketeers can now enjoy a detailed, accurate rendition of the SpaceX Falcon 9 from a collaboration with Estes. Where previous models of the Falcon 9 rocket were regular, inert model kits for display, the new release is capable of a true-to-life rocket launch in 1-100 scale. The pre-finished Falcon 9 is detailed to match its real-life counterpart with a series of silvery nozzles at its base, full-color branding, and silkscreen text around the fuselage. Embraer E195 Tech Lion to debut at Airshow China 2022. Embraer will soon release its latest China market 20-year outlook to coincide with Embraer Day amid an effort to boost collaboration in the country. To further celebrate the occasion, the manufacturer will show off a nicely outfitted E195 E2 with a new livery for Airshow China 2022. The aircraft is hoped to highlight the importance of the E-Jet's flexibility and economy. Sporty's effort brings more than 100,000 young people to online ground school. So far, more than 100,000 young people nationwide have now had the opportunity to discover and explore a next step in aviation, thanks to the Sporties Pilot Shop Learn to Fly course available free of charge following their EAA Young Eagles flights. The online course is available to all of the nearly 2.3 million EAA Young Eagles as a follow-up to their initial introductory flight by volunteer EAA member pilots. The course is a comprehensive online ground school that provides the knowledge and concepts to pass the FAA private pilot written test, oral exam, and check ride. GE Aviation delivers 250th CT7 engine. 
GE hit a significant milestone with its 250th delivered CT7 2E1 engine after it shipped off a freshly manufactured piece to Leonardo in late September. The engine was delivered to the Italian manufacturer for use in their AW149 and AW189 helicopter programs. The CT7 has been able to leverage some of the best tech from across the GE aviation lineup, allowing them to offer a lighter engine, lower fuel consumption, and decreased maintenance requirements compared to competing engines in its power class. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Mesa Airlines Pipistrel Velis suffers engine issues, uses chute. A Pipistrel Velis Club, one of the fleet apparently destined for service with Mesa Airlines and owned by the same, has gone down in Cross City, Florida after suffering engine issues while approaching the airport. The aircraft used an aircraft parachute to effect a safe landing despite the nearly motor glider properties of the airframe. The aircraft impacted in a field, suffering extensive damage from what appeared to be a nose-low attitude at point of ground contact. One media report suggests that strong winds affected the outcome of this accident. There are some interesting questions surrounding this aircraft accident. The Velis is normally an electric aircraft, but pictures from the site show a prop and engine configuration associated with the Rotax installation seen on the Alpha Trainer series. And worse than that, the FAA database lists the aircraft's power plant as turboprop. The airframe is also fairly efficient. The Alpha Trainer is often operated as a motor glider, so using the chute after engine issues is a bit of a head-scratcher since one would have to have very few safe places to go while approaching the airport to resort to the chute instead of allowing the aircraft's efficiencies to get them to safer territory. And after these messages, litter of kitties found in museum display. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Litter of kitties found in museum display. Hickory Aviation Museum staff investigated some unusual sounds emanating from their static display T-33, quickly discovering a litter of kittens living within the cockpit of the aircraft. The North Carolina Museum was able to put a face to the noise when the first of the now-grown kittens began to totter into view over the cockpit edge. In a post announcing the discovery, Hickory said, quote, Not only do we battle rain, wind, heat, wasps, and birds, one of the cats that roams the airport near the terminal decided to have kittens in the T-33 shooting star, end quote. After finding the full litter, the facility received help from the Catawba County Humane Society, allowing all five kittens to have a solid start in life with a battery of vaccinations and care. For now, the litter will stay at the society before being made available for adoption. Catching their mother, Phantom, however, has proven to be an ordeal. The seasoned Wiley Kitty had been a fixture at the nearby Hickory Regional Airport for quite some time. Humane Society staff said she'd been able to outsmart a number of their traps time and again before finally slipping up to be rejoined with her litter. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!